Another very special place are the rainforests of the Daintree, from where the Two Thames report. This right here is the oldest standing rainforest on Earth, dating back 135 million years to a time before Australia even broke away from Gondwana. While much of the Australian landmass was once covered in environments like this, the Daintree Rainforest is one of the last remnants of a time gone by and a pretty magical place. We're about to enter a section of the Daintree renowned for its rugged terrain and tackle a fickle road famous among four-wheel drive fanatics. The Daintree Rainforest represents 0.3% of Australian landscape. So it's a little tiny, tiny wedge of paradise. But what makes Cape Tribulation so special isn't the Bloomfield track itself, but the surrounding rainforest. And we were lucky to have a guide who was not only happy to show us the best nature had to offer, but also let us try some of the local delicacies. Although I'm not too sure about this one. Let me get this straight. You want me to eat a green ant? Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. I'll do it first. There you go. <laughs> Tastes like lemon. All right, here we go. Suck yourself up. Bite it off. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Tastes like lemon, <laughs> lime, citrus. Mm. Go good in a Corona. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> From the depths of the jungle, we made our way towards the coast, where the rainforest really does meet the reef. Yeah, it's just rain Here we are, Cape Tribulation headland just over there. We're really lucky here, it's where two world heritage areas meet. Got the uh, Great Barrier Reef, of course, and um, the Daintree Rainforest. When it comes to knowledge about the Daintree, you really can't argue with over 9,000 years of experience, which is how long the local Kuku Yalanji tribe are believed to have called the rainforest home. So we were honoured and delighted when Kathleen and her daughter Gloria offered to accompany us to one of their sacred sites, the awe-inspiring Wujul Wujul waterfall. But before we could continue our tour of this sacred area, Kathleen had to pay her respects to the spirits of the land and ask them for a safe passage. What does that say? I said, all my ancestors, I bought these two handsome young boys to come and take a picture. So don't make them feel sick. Thank you very much. <laughs> Looking at the rainforest, it's very special for us, where we can go out and collect some bush tucker, some bush medicine. This one is rosemary herbs. Rosemary herbs. Yeah, where we um, put rosemary herbs in the meat, like eel fish, fresh yeah. um, turtle. Smells good. Yeah, and this tree here, when we see flowers, it will tell us about winter too. Yeah. Yeah. How does it tell you about winter? When we see red flowers coming on. And then right alongside the river, proof of how long the Kuku Yalanji people have called this region home. Wow. See this one here? Yeah. Some painting there. So when they come here to see this minya here on this painting, they know what to get from this banner here. Chulaji, Wadagwana, eel and mujay. We eat that. And it's good for our young people in the community too. Yeah. When they come here, they know what to get from the water. So this is almost like to say what you can find here. Yeah. Oh. It's almost like a guide for anyone yeah, who wants guide, to go yeah. and find something in the river here. This rainforest. Listening to the birds, looking at the crocodile, looking at the fish, snakes, everything, flowers. If you respect, the bubble will respect you. Travel. 